All right, so a lot of you guys are like me, you know, starting off with the SR journey, semen retention, and you're gonna realize that not a lot of people are doing it. You gotta realize that you're probably like the minority of people that are doing it. In actuality, everyone actually looks down on you for doing something like that because they can't do it themselves. It's like, now it's so cool to have so many bodies under your name. Like, that's actually kind of a disgusting, to be honest. Like, how do you value yourself as a human being, right? Because it's really not normal to be able to uh, keep coming in contact with different people and different energies all the time. Because it could actually mess up your energy, can mess up how you see the world because it's an emotional connection. It's not just physical. And a lot of people don't realize that, but it could actually shift your mindset too. It could change the way you see things. It could change your perspective on different things. And not only that, of course, there are consequences to that. Like you could actually, you know, die from it. There are people in the past that actually die from it. You know, they end up having heart attacks. They end up having different uh, transmitted diseases all the time. Like it's, it's actually pretty more, it's pretty common now since before in the past, it's like people knew like the consequences and stuff. They were well aware of it. So they kind of were careful, but now it's like a free for all. If you don't do it, then uh, you're lame. Or if you don't do it, something might be wrong with you. But it's like, nothing is wrong with you. You just don't, you just value yourself as a human being. You know, you, you don't want to like sh share yourself to like different people. You know, you, you don't want to be used as a puppet, right? But that that's just not the mindset a lot of people have right now, bro. It's like, it's now probably the most common thing um, in this world because of the media that hypes it up. The media hypes it up. It's all because of um, the internet. The internet became a big thing and instead of people using it wisely and sh uh, sh share information that'll help people, they're actually sharing information that won't help people. And um, see, that's, that's the thing that a lot of us on this journey have to avoid. We gotta avoid coming in contact with those type of people because those type of people will lead us down a dark path. These type of people will lead us down poverty because without Without your seed, you basically, you're spiritually broke. That's how I see it. I feel like if you are careless and if you don't um, use it wisely and use it to your full advantage, right, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be wasted. And once something's wasted, that's something you can't really get back. It's going to take you um, longer, right? The, the process is going to take longer to really get back to, to that flow. You know that 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 aura that you once had because you keep wasting it so i just feel like this journey is not for the weak it's not for people that just want to sit down and just chill all the time because if, if you're on this journey bro it's you can't chill it's going to be hard for you to chill you're you're always going to want to get up and do something you're always want to get up and try to get something done and see that's the whole point in life like in life you gotta get up and do things if you don't get up and do things then time will basically pass you by and um you won't be able to reach your full potential in the world so take this with a grain of salt you know do do what you want honestly i'm not here to tell you what to do but hey, if you want to be the the select minority that's practicing seed retention then do it but if you don't want to be the minority, if you want to be like the majority of people that don't practice it and are going to waste time and they're going to basically not live up to their full potential, then so be it. Because there are certain levels that you can reach. And if you aim for the first level, then you're going to stay at the first level. That's just how it works. It's like a penthouse. Know that there's different levels of a penthouse, right? And if you stay at 
the first floor of a penthouse, then you're always going to have a first floor mindset. You're going to always have a first floor way of thinking. So you're never going to level up. So think of it like that. Um, and just remember why you're doing it in the first place, because you got to have a reason why you're doing it. You can't just do it just because it's popular or just because it's trending, because that's what a lot of people mess up. And a lot of people fail on this journey because they don't understand why they're doing it in the first place. So keep that in mind and have a blessed day.